Hi, I hope you're well and welcome back to the 10th episode of Tuesday Tech Tips. Over the last 10 weeks, I've shared with you a variety of tools that you can put into practice with your learners in your training sessions. From creating live word clouds from learner responses to embedding knowledge questions into videos. For some of you seasoned pros, this isn't anything new. But if you're new to teaching or new to delivering standards-based apprenticeships, using educational technology can be quite daunting. So this week and next week, I'll be sharing with you two tips that although not new, are really effective. This week, we'll be looking at Padlet. One of the main benefits of using digital technology for education and training is the opportunity it affords you for collaboration between you and your learners and between the learners themselves. In today's Tuesday Tech Tips, the first part in our two-part Golden Oldies series, we'll be taking a fresh look at Padlet. Padlet's been around since 2008 and is still one of the most widely used edtech tools out there. And for good reason. Padlet's a simple to use virtual bulletin board and digital canvas that allows you to post content online, hold discussions, collaborate and share work with your learners. It really should be part of your arsenal of tools if you want to develop a community of learning. Here's how to get started. Go to padlet.com and sign up for a free account and then log in. You brought to this page and on the left hand menu you've got Made, a gallery of Padlets you've created. Shared, Padlets that other people have shared with you. Liked, other people's Padlets that you've liked. And archived, the retirement home for your Padlets that are no longer active. Before we jump into creating a Padlet, we do have a gallery where we can see example Padlets from their community. We'll hit the Padlet logo in the top left to go back to the homepage and then go to Made to see a Padlet I've already created. It's a growing collection of EdTech tools. Here you can see the whole board. It's got YouTube videos you can preview and web links that open in new tabs. This Padlet's set to public so it's searchable and anyone can add their resources to the board once I've reviewed them. So let's create a new one for ourselves. Go back to the homepage and click the Make a Padlet button. Here you can choose a style of board that you want to use, so it's worth taking a look over. You've got a wall where content is arranged in blocks, canvas with scattered content connected by arrows, stream which is like an online blog with vertical scrolling content, and grid that creates rows of content. You've also got Shelf, which stacks content into columns, so this could be useful if you were looking at processes for learners to work through, a little bit like a Kanban board. And we've also got Back Channel, that works like a bulletin board. We'll use the grid layout for our Padlet. We can always change this later if we need to. Okay, so on the right, you can title your grid. I'm going to create an SEO resources grid for a digital marketing apprenticeship. We can give it a description and you can choose the background image or upload your own. You can also choose whether the posts appear on a dark or light background and the font used and an associated icon if you want to. It's here where you'd also set any privacy or profanity filters. <laughs> and I know some of you are potty mouths, so I'll turn mine on. I also want to moderate responses before they're posted. Work through all the settings you want and then click next. Now we're ready to post. Click on the plus button in the corner to start. If you look at the bottom of the post, there are options for adding content. You can upload a file, insert a link, Search Google, snap a photo, and there's further options here. Let's search for a video. Okay, so here's a Neil Patel video that we can use. Just click it and after a moment it appears. Give it a title and a description and then just click off to post. Great, so let's insert a video this time from a web link. Double click on the board to bring up the next post. We'll head over to YouTube and grab a URL from there. This time we'll look at local search strategy. Okay, so we found one and copy the URL. Go back to your post on Padlet and click the web link icon and paste the URL that we've just grabbed from YouTube and then save. Next we'll upload a PDF. Click the upload file icon and then pick file and navigate to your PDF and click open. And there we are. So we're ready to share our Padlet with our learners. Just go up to the share button on the top right. You can add members if they've got a Padlet account. You can use email addresses or give your learners a web link, QR code, or embed it into a VLE, or share it via social media. If we go back to the homepage, you can see a couple of Padlets that my colleague Moz Baker has been using with his learners and has kindly shared with me.
From here, I could join in with the conversation. Okay, I'll delete that for now. I could also comment on other learners' posts and give them feedback. Padlet isn't just for you to share content and resources with your learners. They can also post videos, images, and documents. It's a fantastic way to get your learners to peer review each other's work and gets them using their higher order thinking skills. Now, when you sign up for the free account, you only get three Padlets to use. I've not really needed any more than these though, as my Padlets are usually specific to one session or specific to a group. But if you use the link that I've provided in the description, you'll get an extra Padlet for free. You can also use the archive feature to save Padlets and free up space for new ones by clicking the three buttons on the side of your Padlet and choosing archive. The Padlet now appears in your archive tab. You can unarchive using the same method. And there you go, you're all set. I'm gonna leave the EdTech Tools Padlet open to the public and I'll keep adding tools to it as I go along. So feel free to add your own as well. Here's the QR code to join in. So that's the first of our two part series. I've got another classic to show you next week. If there's anything you want me to cover in future videos or you've got a great tool you think I could share, just drop me an email or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Take care and I'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tech Tip.